already have we're at CS 2019 and unquestionably mobility is one of the hottest topic here this year. So during the past few days we see the opportunity to ask a few questions to automotive and aerospace industry experts about their vision of the future of mobility and how DASA system can help in that journey. Follow me. Hi Olivia, it's great to be Hi. here in Vegas. Right, one of the key findings of this survey is obviously electric vehicles, but that's on a consumer perspective. What about the clients? Are they keeping up? Yeah, they are keeping up and uh, not a surprise to see that people are expecting a lot of new innovative solutions for electric vehicles, for autonomous vehicles. So 2030 is a clear target, but we see also being at CES, a lot of companies which are ready to provide solutions right now. Right, autonomous car was a big burst last year. What about that for this new edition? Yeah, you know, the complexity of autonomous vehicle is that you need to have, you know, 10 billion miles uh, for test. So we are partnering with a company called Cognata. We announced this strategic partnership this morning uh, in order to make sure we have a complete end-to-end -end solution for autonomous driving simulation. So concretely, Olivier, where is this industry heading? Uh, the industry is heading around electric vehicle, autonomous vehicle, as we said, also around connected vehicles. A lot of companies, they want to leverage the data in order to innovate on the mobility services. That sounds really exciting. Thank you for sharing that, Olivier. I'm here with Eric from Aerospace and Defense. Hi, Eric. Hi. So looking at the consumer survey, so nearly 40% of them are actually expecting to use air taxis by 2030. Is that a realistic figure? Yeah, I think it, it can be possible, but there's a lot of challenges to work through. We have issues around noise, we have issues around fuel consumption, and even just where you land it. And so all these things have to be worked through in order to make that viable. So this is amazing, so, so many challenges. How do you address them? You know, and I, I think it's part of what our solution can provide, is how do we think about the design holistically? From when we start to design it, ultimately into then how do we do tests to make sure that it's safe? How do we certify that aircraft? How do we make it? And then also keep it operable in the field. Right, Eric, so we are at CS 2019. There are lots of exciting things going on. Anything that caught your eye this year? So we think about automotive, and we know, we know about autonomous cars, electric cars. But I think what we end up seeing here with the Bell Nexus is absolutely incredible. Because I think this is our first step into making the air taxi vision a reality. And so the work that they're doing here, I think they're talking about certification happening literally within the next five to 10 years and be able to get us there in time for 2030. Fantastic, looking forward to that. Thank you, Eric. Thank you so much. Well, guys, it's over for today. I hope that you now get a better understanding of the challenges that lie ahead, both in the automotive and the aerospace industry. Well, it's not over. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more stories.